Today we're gonna to show you how to set up a punching rig. Punching. One of my favorite ways to catch bass. It's a little intimidating, but we're gonna get you guys rigged up here today. I'm gonna to show you exactly what I do and a great way that you can get out there, get through those weed mats and catch more bass. The materials you guys are gonna to need to set up a punching rig is going to be some heavy duty braid, a flipping hook, some pegs or bobber stoppers, a heavy bullet weight, and your favorite flipping bait. So the first thing that we're going to be doing to set up this rig is putting on the peg or the bobber stopper. The reason that I'm using both is because some people call this a peg, but oftentimes when you go to the store to buy them, they're in a package called bobber stoppers. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take one of these pegs and we're gonna put it on the line. Now to do this, if you look really closely at the bobber stopper or the peg, there's a little wire loop. What you're going to do is you're gonna take your line and you're gonna thread it through that loop. Now, all we're gonna do is pull on that peg. So if you guys pull it, you gotta use a little bit of force, but it's going to thread your line through that peg. From here, all we're gonna do is grab that peg and just slide it up like a foot and a half on our line. This is going to allow us to get that peg out of the way so we can tie our hook on and do what we need to do. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna thread on our bullet weight. So I'm gonna thread this guy on there and that's just gonna fall all the way down to our peg. So now what we're gonna do from here is tie on our flipping hook. In most cases, you guys are going to want to tie a snell knot. This is going to allow your hook to position correctly when you set the hook. You're pretty much vertical fishing. You're gonna flip this bait in there and you're lifting your rod tip up and down, which in return is gonna make that bait go up and down. So when you're setting the hook, a snell knot allows you to really set that hook up. In this particular scenario, I'm going to use a polymer knot. Now, I'm not trying to confuse you guys, I just want you to know that this particular hook right here has very little room for me to properly tie a snell knot. So I kind of work around it by tying a polymer knot. But with that being said, I have my polymer knot tied, so I'm gonna cut off my tagline. That braid's hard to cut sometimes, Woo, there we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bait on. I chose to use this creature bait, it's thicker. This is what I like to use for flipping, but use whatever suits you guys the best. And we're gonna rig this up very similar to a Texas rig. Just the hook is a little bit different. It's not your typical worm hook. So what we're gonna do is just like the Texas rig, we're gonna put that hook just through the tip of the bait. From there, we're gonna move the bait all the way up to the cuts on this hook. So as you guys can see, this hook has little stoppers on it to really hold that bait in place. It's really gonna just keep that bait rigged up. So now that your bait is on there, what you guys are gonna do is you're just gonna tuck the tip of that hook through the bait so it's just barely sticking out, almost not at all. So there we go, we have it rigged up on there. It's sitting nice and flat. Me personally, I like to have just a little bit of hook sticking out of that bait. A lot of people will completely bury the tip of that hook in the bait, but again, me personally, I rather take a little bit of weeds off and have a better chance at really getting that hook in that fish's mouth rather than rely on fully setting that hook through that bait. So that's just me. However you guys like to do it is just fine. And then all we're gonna do here is we're gonna drag our peg and our weight all the way down to that bait so it's snug. So as you guys can see here, if I turn that bait upside down, that bullet weight does not move at all whatsoever. This is going to allow you to flip that bait up, get it punched right through that weed mat, get that bait all the way down, and you can start jigging it, pull it straight out, do it again. Punching is a great way to get on a good bass bite, especially in the summer. If you guys are in those areas where these lakes get super, super weeded or they just have big old mats. You can also do stuff like this inside lily pads. It's a great way to catch some bigger fish and it's a lot of fun once you guys get hip to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you set up a punching rig. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you're looking to learn more about bass fishing, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a ton of videos on this channel teaching you guys how to get better at bass fishing. And I'll see you guys later.